I'm Major General Toledo Crossland, and I'd like to share my Army story. Uh, I think I'll start with the education and training. I and mean, just the, the people that train me to be a good family physician and then the folks I get to train as, as a, a medical officer to become good doctors. And so doing that, I, I've had the opportunity to manage as a colonel all of the docs in the military and get to know each of the specialties. And just it's just humbling that the talent that we have is, is, is just incredible. I've gotten to run hospitals. Uh, I've gotten to run a hospital system, and now I get to serve as a Deputy Surgeon General for all of, of medicine with the Surgeon General for the United States Army. Uh, and so it was really hard to pick one or two. Each of those you can tease out as having incredible experiences, and uh, today I'm going to have the opportunity to promote one of those officers I got to train. I mean, that's small, but it's huge. All right? it, it just kind of brings it all full circle. You know, um, it, it's those are tough questions when you look back at how I came in, right? It's all I know. So several of you that's going to watch this video, you're 17, 18, 19, 20, uh, and it's really hard to see yourself 30 years later. But what I would tell you is I wouldn't trade any of it. Uh, the opportunities to experience different cultures, work with incredibly uh, dynamic people, doing wonderful things literally all over the world. It has given me opportunities that I could not have envisioned um, when I made the decision to go to the military academy and pursue medicine through the military. Um, the education is top notch. Uh, you're, 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 think about it, you're, you're paid, resourced, supported, encouraged to get the very best that our country has to offer with respect to medical education. And then you get to go take care of what I would argue is the most deserving population of people all over the world. Uh, and you get to contribute to an incredibly important and valuable mission by serving your nation. Uh, and you get to have fun, and, and I'm not saying that trite. Um, I have been to, gosh, I've been to Europe, I've been to China, I've been to Japan, I've been to uh, Korea, and when I say I've been to these places, I've experienced these places. So I, I, I just can't say enough about um, when you're young, you can't see all the time your, your future, and if you're like me, I grew up in New York City, and I didn't know any of that existed. I didn't have a clue, um, and, I, and I was bright, I thought, um, and I had some diversity in, in my life growing up, but just to have the breadth and the experience. And then the last thing I'd share with you is you get to do a lot of that while you're young. I mean, the things that I've gotten to do, the organization I've gotten to lead, um, I would argue that at this point in my life would be some of the, for the average person, would be the first opportunity to lead and have impacts that I've had to have, been able to have since my early 30s. Oh gosh, um, what a great question. I always want to be a physician um, since I was five years old and, and, and I can't articulate to any of you why. Uh, is that that's just what I've always wanted to do. And when I was looking at colleges and thinking about how I was going to become a doctor, as I mentioned, I attended a military academy. That was an option uh, coming out of West Point. So I went to West Point, and, and then I graduated. I pursued my dream of becoming a physician and attended the Uniform Services University of Health Science. So one could argue that I was born being wanting to be an AMED officer and a physician in the United States Army. Yeah, um, again, interesting question because, uh, you know, being honest, incredible with all of you, I have been in uniform my entire adult life, right? Um, however, I have had throughout my career many opportunities to interact with civilian medicine and the civilian sector, whether it be with a family member or whether it be during my training at USIS or my training uh, when I got my master's in public health or now um, uh, as a senior leader in Army Medicine. Uh, our interactions both in other countries with other healthcare systems and within our own healthcare system. Um, medicine is, I would say, ubiquitous, so many things are similar in the military medicine, right? Our graduate medical education, the medical school I went to, how we're trained, um, our ability to do well on boards that are national, they're not military boards, they're national medical boards. Uh, so there's definitely a crossover, but there is clearly what I would call some uniqueness 
uh, to what we do uh, in, in medicine and in the military. Uh, so you'll get exposure in the civilian sector because it's medicine and, and we cross over for sure, particularly in our training and education. Uh, but you'll get some experiences that you just don't have the opportunity to get in a civilian practice. Yeah, the, the first benefit, hands down, are the people you get to serve with. Uh, it just, it's, it's amazing. You get to serve with human beings who want to make a difference every day. Uh, and, and you don't always appreciate that when you're surrounded by it, but I will tell you, each assignment I have, it was the best, and it was the best because of the people. And then you think, I'm never going to find anybody as good as this group. And then you move to another location, and and you have the, the same experience. It's not all roses. Yes, there's some folks who aren't great, in part, but by and large, hands down, it is the people. Uh, and then the second thing is the people we get to take care of. If you think about our mission, we get to take care of folks who, who have or who will put their lives on the line so that you and I can have all the freedoms we have in our nation. Uh, and, and, and that's pretty special. That, that is extraordinarily special. Uh, and then the last thing I would say is, is, you know, the lifestyle, back and forth, it depends on how, but I can tell you that I love having all the opportunities I spoke about earlier. I love having been able to live in Korea and love to have been able to live in Germany and then live in parts of the United States. And so the experience and the breath uh, and, and the intellectual challenge that it brings and the opportunities um, are, are three reasons that I can rattle off the top of my head. Number four, because you didn't ask for four, I'm giving you four. You can't see my office, but I can see my office. I can see my degree, uh, college degree. I can see my um, medical degree. I can see one of my two master's degrees. So the opportunity to learn and grow throughout your adult life uh, is, is something that we don't always point to, but it, it's pretty, I'm grateful for that. Um, I, I want to, probably the most significant, um, impactful is the word I, I think I'd rather use, significant, yeah, there have been a lot of important accomplishments, but I think one of the single most things that had the most impact on me as an AMED officer and as a physician was when I was deployed and I took care of a Marine who had been shot, uh, and it was a through and through, still, still resonates with me, um, and I offered to that Marine the opportunity to stay in a hospital overnight. Just, I mean, the idea of being shot is, eh, you know, just think about that. And I said to him, you know, hey, you know, you're fine, you know, physically wise, we'll, we'll clean you up, and, and um, you know, would you like to spend a night in the hospital just, you know, to get your legs back on? And he looked at me and goes, no, ma'am, I need to go back out and be with my soldiers. And what came out of that, that impact was, is that was someone's son, 18, 19 years old. I mean, this is a young human being who is, is, who is putting his life on the line for the nation, and he's worried about his friends. He's worried about his teammates. And it reminded me and it illustrated to me what we do in being part of a team. So I would say, as I tear up, that, that that's probably the most impactful thing. Well, I am originally from Queens, New York. Um, I grew up in a family of six. I had two older brothers. Unfortunately, one of my brothers has passed away. And I have a younger sister that is one week in eight days, actually one year and eight days younger than me. Um, I'm the only person in my family in the military. Um, my uh, parents uh, raised us to be contributors, I like to think. Uh, my brother is a police officer, my sister is in education, she's a teacher. I ended up joining the Army back in 1989. <coughs> Uh, when I graduated from high school, I received a postcard um, in my senior year um, from the United States Military Academy at West Point that invited me to um, get more information about uh, West Point, and I did, and ultimately I ended up going to uh, West Point and graduating in 1989. So actually that was 85, gosh, I'm old. You know what? Uh, and we all hear this at different points in life, and, and, and I joke a little bit in the military because, you know, we're perceived as folks that are organized, planned, program. And the thing I tell my younger self is kind of where I started with you is 
I, I couldn't envision this, right? And so plant where you, you know, grow where you're planted, enjoy the moments, don't get bent around the axle and blow things up uh, that in the end oftentimes makes you a better human being. I just talked about how impactful deployment was on me. When I found out I was going to deploy, that was frightening, that was disorienting, that was concerning, it was all those things. And now I'm a better human being, better leader, better officer, better physician for it. So the thing I tell myself and I would tell, I would, I tell my son, you know, keep it in perspective. Uh, life has good things for you. If your heart is, is, is where, 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 your, where your energy goes, uh, and uh, I think Army Medicine just gives us opportunity uh, to serve and make a difference. Everything I just said, right? You could just pull all that together, uh, and, and that's, a, that's a life with purpose, I'd like to believe. Uh, that's why you keep serving, right? You, you get up in the morning, and I got three gentlemen out front that are all going to make huge differences in our Army. Uh, and, and I get up because what we do is important. I, I, I get up because I think what we do has positive impact. I get up because our mission uh, is like no other. And, and most importantly, I get to do it with amazing human beings. So uh, today and probably tomorrow and probably for the next few years, I don't really see me doing anything differently. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I, I guess we're at the end, and I, I appreciate the opportunity to share my Army story with you. Thank you for taking the time to spend a few minutes with me. Army Medicine is Army Strong. <laughs>